if I am on the main road here and I want to go to my, my friend house uh, over here, the blue house, I would need to go down the, to the second street and the third house. So if I write in that in brackets, that would be like the second street, the third house. Coordinates work just like this. Or if I want to go to the green house up here, that's the third street and the fourth house. Now notice how I put the street first because the street is synonymous with the Cartesian plane and you put the X axis here and you put the Y axis there and everybody should know this but we're just doing this because we're doing a complete course on this and if you don't know this, shh, just stay quiet and learn it fast. So what the first thing that you need to always look out for when you're trying to state the coordinates of a, of a point, the coordinates are like the numbers back, back two numbers there, is that the X axis comes first. So this kind of lines up with the two. So it's not kind of, it does line up with the two. So you're going to put the number two here first and this lines up with the three, you understand that? So you're going to put the number three here first. Do this one, do C and put it in the chat while I do B. B would be, it's lining up with the four and then it's lining up with the negative three. No, I would not put the negative three first. The temptation is strong, but you always put the number, you always put the number on the X axis first. So the coordinates of B, Sometimes you call it the ordered pair uh, when we're doing functions. This is four and negative three. Just stay with the sign. I'm not gonna do this one, you do this in the chat. There's some more things to note. Sometimes the point itself exists exactly on one of the axes. So this is the X axis as you remember, and this is the Y axis. So what to do, what to do if the point is exactly on an axis? Well, let me show you. Since this point is on the tree for the x-axis, I will start off with three as normal. This is the start of the third street, like from our example, the point on the axis. But there are no houses on this part of the street, so this is zero. Or you can think of it as it, it, it lines up with the zero on the y-axis. So this point over here will be the reverse situation where it's zero on the x-axis, but it's the number three on the y-axis. Um, I feel that like good enough. I feel like you can take RNS for me. RNS, do this one. And write that in the comments. One more thing before we go. This point in the middle here has a special name. We call that the origin. That's where all the points originate from. And the special coordinate or ordered pair for the origin is zero. Zero. One more, one more thing. So when you, when you, when you um put any points of CXC, you can put it away if you want to get the marks, or you can put it away if you do want to get the marks. If you do want to get the marks, just put that like this. That's right. Just put that like this on the point, and you can lose some marks. Nice. You can, you can organize yourself to lose some marks there. If you want to get the marks, the syllabus says that you need to use an X like this, or you can be fancy. If you're feeling a little bourgeois, you can use this dot. You can use the dot and then put a circle around the dot. But I, personally, I find this method a little clumsy, so I advise all my students to so just use the X. The X looks uh, old fashioned and thing, but it does the job. So forget about that. Just use the X. So, love and blessings, we're coming through the next video on this very soon. This is a series on coordinate geometry, the long awaited series on coordinate geometry. Those of you all in the future, you can already click ahead and watch the next video. Those of you all who are watching this in real time as it comes out each video after video. Thanks for being there. Press like, subscribe. See you soon. Blessings in exams.